I just saw my friend John. He said he was watching some of my videos. He said, I'm a philosopher. And that's strange because my daughter gave me a philosophy book called Get a Grip on Philosophy, my oldest daughter. And she said, maybe you can write your own philosophy. I didn't even realize I, I had one. But that's nice. I think I do. And I think um, humanity, <coughs> one of my professors, Tom Adair, reads Wittgenstein. And humanity all has, I think he's correct, I think we all have a beetle in the box philosophy. Um, and my daughter, she's really like a priori genius. Um, she had cut herself during the divorce. It was really tough because I was arguing and fighting with an alcoholic and there's just no point. People that are addicted to things. Um, yeah, but I, I didn't know that. You know, I thought maybe I'd make it better, but it didn't. Um, and so we got her counseling and then she went out when she was working and she got two I can't think of the scientific name for a beetle I'm, I'm sorry coleoptera is one type but I can't remember but so she put beetles on her arms and I she came home and I said oh I said I get it that's beetle in a box and she'd never heard of it so that's why I think she's got a direct met metaphysical connection as an artist good artist not just a layman I think real potential of making really beautiful work in whatever area she chooses to go into. But, um, <laughs> Charm, I don't want to stop here. I have to get on her sometimes because she likes to stop all the time. Um, so yeah, like, you know, I think of the poor African Americans, the psychiatric patients, the really wealthy people that have issues, but we don't know what each other's beetle is. But we have to sacrifice to learn a little bit about our community. Sometimes you have to get down on the level of the person economically and talk to them, not be afraid of their beetle in a box. Everybody's got one, and it's pretty much going to stay in the box. But you can always lend a hand to help. Or Like today, I see hungry people that are nice, but for some reason, the really wealthy people go out to eat, and they sit at these big tables with white tablecloths and there's a poor guy sitting right outside your window or schizophrenic going through the trash that happened one day at this restaurant called lift and he was going through the trash in front of this restaurant and i said sir do you need something to eat and this guy has schizophrenia he's oriental he doesn't speak a lot of and he said thirsty thirsty he didn't have a drink i was like this is horrible so i took him in the restaurant i and I didn't have a lot of money, but I said, you can choose and get something and we'll get, he drank like four cups of tea. He was so thirsty. And um, so I think it would be a fun project to pull these people in with problems into a fancy restaurant and have them sit at dinner and tell us what's going on. And um, so they feel loved and cared about. I don't know. It'd just be fun. I mean, I don't know if it'll help anybody, but it would be an interesting situation.